championship fight between the Korean Superboy, Duo Shore, and Khabib Nurmagomedov. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Again, for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Samba, Jiu Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Nurmagomedov is two years the elder. The reach is the same. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the challenger, Habib the Eagle. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. Side can be interesting to see how long 
I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now right, he's so got now on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, he's got his back now. Back to his feet. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Guppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a mess. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Wow. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of, better him than me. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice strike landed there by choice. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. And they separate. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He has certainly tried to wrestle offensively tonight, but that attempt did not work. We knew we'd see a commitment for trying to secure those takedowns. We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Nice. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over, he secured these takedowns. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. And DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Liver kick. All right, he engages in a single. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Snaps oh. his head back with DC. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Beautiful punch. All right, single collar oh, time nice now. job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection.
right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. with the right hook. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nermago Medov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, right here, DC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. And they separate. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, so he's landed some good shots. He hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Nice straight punch. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nurmagomedov's got the full mount. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Gotta be careful, on bar. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off. Oh man, that was slick. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nomago Meta. Joy grounded down from half guard. He is making these shots count. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Choi's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Push off his head and Choi's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Nice hammer fist. Try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Oh, looks like he's transitioning on ball. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Trying 
20 seconds now remain in the round. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Nurmagomedov. Final seconds here of round number two. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Ten minutes in the books. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Whoa! What a fantastic strike. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, you can hear the whack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that left. Huge right hand! softened up here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's out on two! And there comes the stoppage! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy Do Ho Choi with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this feather.